After a chilly start where Lexington started out in the mid 30s, we had a great climb this afternoon with plenty of sunshine. We made it up to 66 degrees here in Lexington. Now, notice just off to the west in the central United States, we've got a lot of warm temperatures right now, low to mid 80s for the today highs. That's going to be traveling our direction as we head into tomorrow. Now, we won't quite make it to the 80s, but mid 70s are certainly possible. We topped out in the mid 60s today, so near average for this time of year. Again, we started out this morning, though, at 35 degrees, a good 10 degrees below average. That is not going to be the case when you wake up tomorrow morning. It is going to be much milder. We've only dropped off to 53 degrees right now. We've got a tad bit of a wind chill right now, feeling like the low 50s, 51 degrees in downtown metro area. Thanks to that wind chill or that southerly wind right now, very light though at only 7 miles an hour. It is a south wind, so that means it's going to be continuing to bring in more moisture. Those dew points right now in the low 40s, those will be climbing overnight and especially throughout our day Wednesday. 53 degrees right now in Lexington, 54 in Jackson, and 50 degrees right now in London. Only dropping off to the upper 50s in Louisville and still holding steady in the near 60 degree mark for Bowling Green and mid 60s for Paducah right now. So that warm up is headed our direction as we head into the overnight region. Only about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than just 24 hours ago here in central and eastern Kentucky, but a good 10, 15 degrees warmer as you head off to our south and our west. Again, that light southerly breeze will stick with us through the overnight hours. It is going to pick up, though, as we head into tomorrow afternoon. It's actually going to be a little bit on the breezy side. We're talking winds around 10 to 15 miles an hour, gust anywhere from 20 to 25 miles an hour. That southerly breeze bringing in the more moist air right now. We've got those that dry dew point on top of us, upper 30s to low 40s. Just off to our south and our west, though, 50 degree dew points. Again, headed our direction as we head into our Wednesday. That's going to keep us mild tonight, though. We'll only drop off to near 50 degrees. Check out that warm up tomorrow afternoon, though. We'll bring back above average temperatures right around the mid 70s for our Wednesday afternoon. That's all thanks to a warm front that's going to continue to lift off to the north. Southerly winds will start off our morning at near 50 degrees. A warm up into the mid 70s. Now it is going to be fairly breezy, though. We'll keep the clouds around, but we'll stay dry throughout Wednesday afternoon. Now, as we head into Wednesday evening, especially into the overnight hours, we're going to be seeing showers. This is a late night event, but the good news about it being an overnight event, the severe threat looking very limited, really only just an isolated thunderstorm chance out of this. Just some beneficial rain showers. Rainfall totals will generally be right around the tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. We'll dry out as we head to around the midday region on for Thursday. The showers traveling from the west to the east. We'll hold on to that cloud cover for most of our afternoon on Thursday. A couple of sprinkles possible for Friday as well. But then we dry out for the weekend and cooler air will begin to funnel in as well. We'll drop off tonight at 50 degrees. The cloud cover continuing to increase as well as that moisture. Southerly winds will be light tonight. Pick up tomorrow afternoon around 10 to 15 miles an hour. A high of 74 degrees. So warm, breezy, partly cloudy skies. We head into late in the evening and especially overnight. We bring back those showers. Just an isolated thunderstorm chance though. It will remain gusty throughout the evening and pretty breezy on Thursday as well with cloud cover and cooler temperatures. So Thursday looks to be kind of a dreary day. But then that cooler air funnels in and we dry out for Friday and especially on Saturday. If you like fall temperatures and sunshine, got a great looking weekend forecast. Boy, it does. All right, Lauren, thank you very much. Next